morning or good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Hope everyone is doing well. Today is a little bit exciting. I got some things to open up. It's actually my drone. It's the new Phantom 4 Pro if you haven't been watching my vlogs. I recently sold my old Phantom 4 back when I was in Brazil. So I just bought the Phantom 4 Pro and I am super excited to unbox it. It's pretty much gonna be the same drone just with a little bit better camera specs. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is probably the extra battery. I ordered an extra battery and then the drone. Yup, extra battery. It's like dead. They should've just given it to me full. Let's get to what's actually exciting. I'm so pumped to see the difference from this drone to the other drone. And it's pretty much not gonna be a whole lot. Just the 4K is what I'm excited about. They both did 4K, but my old drone only did 4K at a maximum of 30 frames per second. And this new drone does a max at 60 frames per second. If you don't know what that means, it just means better footage. It's gonna be a lot smoother, and I'm gonna have the capability of slowing down my footage a little bit. Also, this one has a mechanical sensor. So if you don't know, my big camera, or like any DSLR, has an actual mechanical flap. So every time you click the shutter, you hear that loud like, every time you take a picture. This drone now has that. Unlike my other drone, had just a regular sensor readout. This one has a mechanical shutter. Phantom 4 Pro. Right away, you can kind of see that the camera is a little bit bigger. That's a better shot. It's a little bit bulkier. And I am in no way, shape, or form a tech reviewer. <laughs> but it is a little fun. Opening up new stuff. Now this is probably all gonna be the same. It's a different color bag for your propellers. This used to be black. This one comes with a gray one. That's different. There it is, this camera, the mechanical shutter, and a one inch sensor, so it should be a lot better in low light. The Pro model has got the sensors on all sides, front, the sides, even the back, and bottom, but I'm pretty sure they all have the bottom and front. Let's see if this battery comes charged. Nope, same thing. Let me go put both these batteries to charge, so I can go out later and do a little bit of flying. You got your controller. This thing is huge. That's the one complaint I have about these drones, that the controller is big. And it seems big for no reason. It's just, it's huge. Here's your charger. Same exact charger as the other drone. And everything else is literally the exact same. I'm just excited to get started on using this camera. So I'm gonna charge everything up, then we're gonna go test out this new camera. So I'll be right back. Ah. Letting everything charge, um, but while everything's charging, picked up Fran, and we have to come to Peco. Peco, see it's Peco. We gotta come here because we need to get more fish. Sadly, our fish died again. We need to figure out, I wasn't gonna say that either, but yes, our fish did die again. We have, we have one, one fish. We have one fish, and we need to figure out what's going on. Our water, like the actual quality of the water is good. I checked it, it's good. So I feel like we just got sick fish. But anyway, we're gonna get fish while the drone's charging, and then we're gonna go home, put them in the tank, and probably take the drone out. No, not probably, definitely take the drone out, because I wanna try to fly it. I'm excited to fly it, I'm excited. Look, we got fish. But they have ferrets here. Look at the ferrets. Look at that. Woo! We got our fish and what an experience. Coming to Petco, well our Petco, I can't speak for all Petcos, but coming to our Petco, definitely an experience. Wow. The very first time we came here, the guy that helped us was really rude and But he knew what he was talking about. He did. He knew what he was talking about. But this time, the guy that was helping us he like pretty much told us everything of the complete opposite that that other guy did. And he dropped one of our fish. When he was taking, he grabbed it with the net to put it in our little bag. He dropped one of the fish, so he gave us a different fish. He cursed so <laughs> yeah. much. He was cursing and then he was like, guys, I'm sorry if I'm not professional. I'm just like straightforward. 
All right. <laughs> At least you admitted it. But now we're gonna go home, settle these fish into our tank. Hopefully they like it. We also bought new rocks to like help decorate the tank even more. So I hope everyone is doing well, having a great week so far. Everyone's probably back to school. Hopefully you're liking school. I don't. She does. <laughs> oh, look at our fish. There's some green stuff flying around here. So we're gonna go home. And we're home. I hope that came out good. <laughs> I didn't unlock it. Smart. Here we go. Let our fish sink in and get used to the temperature of the water like you have to do. Look at them. Look. That's our only one left, the pink one. So hopefully he's gonna be making some friends and that they all get along, right? What are you doing already? Get comfortable. Yeah. We also bought like new decor, like I said. Like, this is like a bottom rock and like a small one that just sits on top just like that because we needed something else for the tank because it was kind of plain and now we're gonna have fish more were fish. Depressed. Probably, they were probably like depressed. But we moved the both bunch of houses over there, and now we're gonna put those rocks right there. I really wonder how fish even think. Like, when we have our hand in there moving these things, they're probably like, oh my goodness, how do they lift that big thing? <laughs> Trying to think like a fish. We just noticed something. One of the white fish that we bought is missing an eye. It's literally missing an eye it seems healthy, it seems fine, but it's missing an eye. It's either completely blind or obviously just blind in one eye. But look, let me see if I can show you. One of those white fish, that one right there, the left one has no eye. One of our fish don't have an eye. We named him Fetty. I was about to say that. <laughs> Fetty Wap, that's what we named him. Gonna finally let these new fishes out of their bag. Hopefully they're excited to like explore the tank. Go ahead my friends, be free. There they go. Decided before we go fly the drone, we're gonna do a water change because we haven't done a water change in a while. So we're making our tank a little cleaner for our fish. We have them sitting in here for now and we're gonna start cleaning the tank. We already took out like 30% of the water. I got it. <laughs> nice. This is taking a lot longer than we thought, but we got all the rocks that we're legit doing, not just like a regular, regular water change. We're doing more than that. We're doing the entire thing oh, over. Yeah, we're just over Teavers. <laughs> Look at that, all the rocks and the rest of the water, pretty much empty tank, fish, healthy fish. Funny story, our fish thought it'd be funny if he just jumped out of the water. Oh yeah, one of our black fish. His name is Trouble. Uh, when we first put them in there, it legit jumped out of it and it was on the table. We tried to pick him up. He and jumped on the chair. It jumped on the chair and we were like freaking out. We needed to, we were like, no, get him, get him. It was a good 10 seconds of pure chaos. Uh, I wish I had the camera on for that. But now we're just going to rinse those rocks, hand clean them, put them back in and put fresh water for these fish. These fish have it good. Keep forgetting to pick up this camera. Fran's always like, are you going to vlog this? And I'm like, Oh yeah. I keep forgetting to pick up the camera, I'm sorry. But we finished cleaning out the rocks, we rinsed them all out, and now we're just trying to decide if we want to rearrange the tank. Not if we want to, we are going to rearrange the tank, but we're trying to figure out where we want all the decorations. So like, this is where we're at right now. It's kind of a mess. Don't know where things are going to go. What do you want to do? I don't know. We'll check back in in a little bit. We finished, one thing we did forget though, because we drained the entire tank, what, are you taking selfies? It was. <laughs> because we drained the entire tank, we have to get bacteria, artificial bacteria. Not because artificial. It's, it's real bacteria. Okay, well, we need to buy bacteria because the tank needs bacteria to help prep the water, if that makes any sense. So we can't put our fishes in the tank yet, but the tank's done. We're going to go out and buy the bacteria. But for now, this is what our tank looks like. Look at it. All right, you ready? Ready. Bam. Oh. Look at that. It looks nice. We got a new heater back there, right there. <coughs> Our SpongeBob Village thing, and the thing of rocks. And now, let's go out and buy the bacteria and fly the drone a little bit, because I'm so excited to do that. So see you guys in a little bit. And we are leaving now, getting ready to go. Who's calling me? Look at that, it's like its own solar eclipse. Can you guys see that? No, because it's too dark, look. Well, that oh, really look at that. It looks crazy though. That's it great. looks kind of like a little eclipse. I wasn't here for the eclipse, I wouldn't know. Well, there you go. You kind of just saw your own eclipse. Oh, look at me. Yeah. Look how pretty. <laughs> I was like, ooh, look pretty. Camera, look, look, it's pretty. 
Check this out. Look who's driving. Because he didn't want to. <laughs> You're driving for once. You never drive. What are you never. talking about? I drove this what you, morning. What are you talking about? And I think like two vlogs ago, like mm. a month and a half ago, when we were like, <clears throat> before we went to Brazil, I drove. So. No. Biggest difference from my new drone, which is the Phantom 4 Pro, compared to my old drone, which is just the Phantom 4, is the camera. It can do 4K at 60 frames a second compared to just 4K at 30 frames a second. And that may not seem like a huge difference, but it's a big difference. Your video is way smoother and you actually have the option to slow it down a little bit. The Phantom 4 Pro also has sensors on all four sides and the bottom, where my old one only had them on the front and bottom. So it's just that extra safety. I don't personally need it. The reason I really got the Pro was that the controller has two frequencies that it runs on. So it has a 2.4 gigahertz frequency and it also has the 5.8 gigahertz frequency. Uh. <laughs> when you're in like a city or urban area and you want that stronger connection, it automatically bumps it up. Look, a deer. I was gonna say, look, a deer. Automatically bumps it up to that 5.8 gigahertz frequency compared to just the 2.4. As the person flying, it just gives you that extra confidence. Ooh, look at that lighting. That sun! So excited to be able to get some really nice sunset shots. If we have time. We will have time. You have horrible time management, babe. No, I don't. What? All right. Other than that 4K at 60 frames per second, it also has a mechanical shutter, kind of like a DSLR, so when you take pictures and all that, they come out in better quality. Just got to the park. There are so many deer. Look at this. I don't know if this camera can see them, but there's like two over there. Six. There's one over there. Three there's back a there. bunch more over there. Hopefully they're still there when I get the drone up in the air. That'd be really cool to see them. There's a lot at this little park. First flight, super excited. Let's take this thing off. Warping back home. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of drone footage. It looks really good. Mm, it's kind of weird because I didn't see it yet. Well, actually, when I'm filming this, the drone is actually just sitting right there. I didn't edit it yet. <laughs> we hope but it looks good. I hope it looks good. It was a little dark, but that's really gonna show like the quality of that new one inch sensor of this drone. But we just got home and we're gonna put the bacteria and test the water. <laughs> <laughs> gonna test the water and then we're gonna introduce our fish to their new setup, to the new tank. Dip the strip directly into aquarium, swirl two times, remove with face up. You don't gotta do all that, just dip. Don't shake the water off. Our fish are all in, and for the most part, <gasps> look, he went in the rocks. Yay! That was actually the first time that black one went through the rocks. We were like, wait, oh, look, he went in through again. Look, Yay. he just came out. We bought these rocks to add a little more hiding spots to this tank and none of the fishes went through. So that was the first time that one of the fishes went through. So I'm glad that they're going through some of this stuff. But anyway, all the fish are in. They all seem to be liking it. They're all in. But anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog right here. I hope all of you had a great day and a great week. And I will see everybody soon. Sandy, say bye. <gasps> say bye. Say bye.